hello everyone and welcome in hope everyone is doing well positive healing vibes to all the subscribers the viewers and the world out there today we're going to take a look into Sagittarius's week ahead for October 11th through the 17th in this message we're first going to tap into the energies with the wisdom of the Oracle deck here then we will get an overview message with the psychic tarot deck dig a little bit deeper into the energies with a traditional deck i'll clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards if it's something you're interested in you're more than welcome in joining us so let's see here sagittarius what we can see for you guys for october 11th through the 17th please and thank you spirit what does sagittarius need to see here well imagine mm -hmm. I feel like you're manifesting your manifestation abilities are definitely running high so be pay attention to what you're thinking okay your thought patterns also feel like you're moving through some heavy energy here Sagittarius it's almost like you're um, you're leaving a situation here for some of you this ending may have already occurred and you're processing this processing this ending or this disconnect here I do feel like you are kind of mulling over what your part was in all of this trying to figure out you know how how this fits in how this fits into the equation let's take a little bit deeper look into the energy here for you sagittarius for october 11th through the 17th please and thank you spirit what the sagittarius need to see here for this week Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, how to get entered into the drawing, we do here for free stuff. It's all linked below in the description box. I'm also getting ready to launch a tarot course. If that's something you're interested in, that link it will also be in the description box. And Sagittarius, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help set your intentions for future messages. There's a situation here that you're moving away from that there was a lot of deception, a lot of uncertainty. I feel like this was something that you had your heart set on. This is the Three of Wands energy. This is partnerships and alliance in this deck. But in a traditional tarot deck, this would be that visionary card getting back in alignment with where you see yourself headed. Crown Chakra. Choose wisely. Seven of Cups energy. Recognition and reward. It's three of Pentacles energy. Mental conflict is Two of Swords energy. Memories of love is Six of Cups energy. Hermit or solitude in this deck. And movement, choices, and decisions. I feel like you have a lot of choice, a lot of options, a lot of ways that you can ch choose to play this out or choose to move. Part of you is focusing on a business venture or a business partnership. I feel like um, this may be somebody who can help you in business. Okay. And, and then I feel like there's also somebody from your past that you're thinking about as well. We have two cards coming out here symbolizing a choice that you're needing to make here. So there's definitely thinking about a difficult decision here. 
I feel like this decision is something that you're conflicted over for sure. Being strategic, being practical, and trusting your intuition here. Sagittarius, let's see. I feel like a lot of you, this is having to deal with relationships, but for some of you, this could be a business partnership. For Sagittarius, October 11th through the 17th. Please and thank you, Spirit. There is something here that you're having to clean up. Something that you're... Um, maybe you had a part to play in a disconnect. Something along those lines. And you're trying to figure out maybe how how to get back for some of you a lot of uncertainty here Sag a lot of um, loss maybe even some fighting some bickering back and forth that you're really not wanting to play into High Priestess, Magician, Nine of Wands, Five of Swords, Empress, the Chariot, the Devil, the Ten of Cups. Page of Wands, Six of Wands, Justice, Fool, Hanged Man, Nine of Pentacles. Two of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. Definitely picking up some manifesting energy here. Okay, I also feel like um, there's a lot of up in your head. A lot of really um, mental confliction. Okay, really mulling this over. Maybe even some ruminating over a situation here, Sagittarius. And it's really um, holding you back. I feel like there may be too many options, maybe too many people in your ear, too many ways, ways to go or th too many of something here, Sagittarius, too many options, but I feel like this is keeping you guarded. This is what you're, you're trying to figure out what's the best decision, which way you should choose. And it's just really, um, Holding you back. Holding you back. I also feel here that you are a little guarded. Maybe um, a lot of fighting. Maybe there's a lot of fighting between you and another person. But this fighting, this confliction, um, it's causing stagnancy around you, Sagittarius. Okay? Okay. For some of you, there it's a toxic family member. Maybe this is a toxic partner that you're needing to walk away from. And this is maybe what you're conflicted about because you want this relationship to work. But you understand that this is very toxic. I also get the sense of, um, again, this mental confliction is holding you back. It's keeping you tied in the past. I do feel like you are proceeding with caution. And there is a need here to be strategic, okay? Be strategic. Try to look at things from all sides of the coin here, Sagittarius. Okay, however that is resonating. 
for some of you this may be options in relationships maybe you have a lot of suitors that are coming your way um, maybe this is options within a career decision something that you went through in the past is something that you've gone through or somebody that is trying to control you in a situation is really stopping you from moving forward making the right decision so let's try to see let's try to dig a little bit deeper here sagittarius high priestess with the magician Nine of Cups. So here's how I'm seeing this, Sagittarius. Um, your heart was set on the outcome of something, okay? Whether this was a relationship or, or a job opportunity, something stopped this process, okay? Whether this was a toxic family member, um, Maybe this was an, a toxic job that wasn't releasing you from your position. Something along those lines was holding you back from what it is that you truly wanted here. And I feel like this confliction that you've been dealing with, um, something is going to be revealed here, Sagittarius, that's going to help you to move forward from this. Whether this is getting that opportunity that you wanted or moving forward to something that's better suited. Um, I feel here that you're just trying to, you're trying to figure this out here. Okay, you're really this week going over, mulling over your options and really trying to figure this out. Really trying to clear this confusion, trying to um, figure this out dilemma out what i will say here sag is i feel like there is a need to get grounded okay um stabilize yourself within your own personal situation so taking a step back from all options maybe even taking time off work if that's an issue to really figure this out and i'm not saying take your whole life off of work maybe a day or two to just sit and really contemplate to give yourself that mental space empress with the chariot i do feel like focusing on what you need to feel solid and secure what's your what's going to make you happy sagittarius okay where does your happiness lie There is going to be some truth that's brought to a situation that's going to help you to process this. Now, this information might not be easy to hear. However, I do feel like it is going to help you to start moving forward. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups to the King, King of Cups. So moving forward from a water sign, maybe an air sign. We also have Earth Energy here fire energy as well okay but understand that somebody was being deceptive somebody was lying about a situation um there's something here with deception sagittarius that keeps being presented okay pay attention pay attention here with the knight of wands emperor in reverse so again someone's trying to control the situation For some of you, this could be a partner or a very close friend, maybe even like a mother or a father. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a disruption that's going to happen. And this, I feel like from not making a decision, you may um, have no choice in the matter. I do feel an, a sense of uncertainty. Somebody's in and out, back and forth, okay? A lot of deception, a lot of lies, a lot of secrets, okay? Things that are hidden that aren't really coming to the surface, Sagittarius. 
and you're really coming to accept that maybe you're not going to know everything about this person. You have what it takes to move forward. You have all the information you need. You just want like verification. And I feel here, Sagittarius, um, somebody, every time you go through this process with this person, they portray like they're going to work on it. Here's what I see. The seven, seven of pentacles, knight of wands, seven of swords in reverse. Okay. This person comes in. They try to portray to you like they're going to work on it or work on themselves or they're going to fix the situation or you're going to have the promotion that you asked for whatever the case may be and then back to the same old routine this very well could be a cycle that has gone on for a while but i do see that you're coming to terms with that And I do feel like you have options, so you don't really need to worry. You don't need to stress over it, even though I feel like you are. You, you're almost like you're sacrificing something to move forward. But I do feel like you're headed in a positive direction here, Sagittarius. You, eye on the prize. So if there is a person in your life that they don't see your vision or they keep effing up, not sticking to what they say they're going to do it's in your best interest to walk away i know that might be difficult and it also might be something that you don't want to hear i do feel though that it is in your best interest part of the lesson here that's being learned right now is letting go of something that you have that deep connection with get a few cards out here Sagittarius for your advice guidance moving forward I am going to do an extended version to the reading guys in the extended version we'll take a look into uh, the energies a little bit deeper is there anything else that you need to be made aware of for this week look into anything hidden any secrets that will come to the forefront take a look into the next steps moving forward and the outcome if the guidance is followed i will also pull out a few different oracle decks if that's something you're interested in sagittarius the link is below interested in <laughs> ah. also guys the second link down there is to subscribe to vimeo it's 11 dollars a month you get access to all of the extended readings that i upload for all of the signs second link see here Sagittarius advice guidance moving forward spirit four cards for Sagittarius Whew. two of pentacles is on the bottom of the deck decisions decisions this whole reading has been about decisions so Sagittarius here focusing on their own stability. Okay, you have this stable offer that's coming your way. Okay, this person may be a friend, a family member. Also feel like this is you working on work here, working on a work or career business venture. Three of Swords with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is coming out here twice, water energy. But I feel like here, Sagittarius, you feel betrayed by this person. And you may be trying to surround yourself with work, people, places, and things that are stable, solid to protect yourself from this, okay? Um, fate is at play here, so this is definitely something that's unavoidable. However, you can minimize the damage by preparing, being grounded, meditating, okay? And choosing to put yourself first 
with your eye on the prize, the long-term goal for yourself, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's take a look at the soul journey deck. And I even feel that way in soulmate twin flame connections. If there isn't mutual love, mutual respect within the connection. If a person keeps overstepping boundaries or doing things that they know is going to hurt you, then part of the lesson in that is letting go. If it's a twin flame, you guys will come back together. Take a look here, Sagittarius, for you guys. If you have found that this message has been helpful, is resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated here, and it does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You're all amazing. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. regret. I know that I cannot change the past. The soul doesn't know time. Time is a construct of the physical dimension. To your soul, there is only one big now. Think of the past as the now that has already been created and the future as the now that has yet to be created. You don't have the power to uncreate the past, so let that go. Your power of creation lies in your awareness of the present. You have the power to not only create your future, but also create acceptance of your past. You should realize that you are the total summation of every single experience you've had. These experiences have helped shape you into the person you are today. Train yourself not to judge past events as good or bad, but as opportunities. What have you learned from the past that will help enrich your future? Focusing on the past and letting it dictate the direction of your future is taking the power away from yourself. You are the creator. You hold the power. Reflect on the lessons of the past and use your current power to create your bright future. Beautiful Sagittarius. So little bit of looking back on the past. I feel like it's more of resentment than anything if there is an energy that I'm picking up here, but I honestly don't get that. I feel like your negative emotions are towards this person who is coming between you and whatever it is that you are desiring right now. And there's also a lesson to be learned in that as well, Sagittarius. Trusting the process that everything happens for a reason here, okay? Everything is going to be revealed when it's supposed to be revealed. And I feel like part of that truth is going to be re being revealed this week, okay? So prepare for that. It's only a thought, and a thought can be changed. I am not limited by any past thinking. I choose my thoughts with care. I constantly have new insight and new ways of looking at my world. I am willing to change and grow. Beautiful Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.